open your eyes and open your heart. That is the message from our conservationist um, Elizabeth Wathuti, who is becoming a star in this meeting. Um, and of course, it has been day two of the climate change conference, which is taking place here in the city of Sham El Sheikh. And of course, the highlight for Kenya was the speech by uh, President Dr. William Ruto, saying that as a country, some of the concrete steps that we are taking to curb a green gas emission uh, is the ambitious plan to plant 10 billion trees by the year 2032, which translates to about 1 billion trees every year. Dr. William Ruto urging the world leaders to support Kenya in this quest, which of course is going to be expensive and it is going to be tasking. Another issue that uh, Dr. Uh, William Ruto raised was the fact that uh, as a country we have set the target of the year 2025 to make that full transition to renewable energy and of course Kenya has received recognition from world leaders because of its big efforts towards uh, switching to renewable energy. More conversations will continue here and of course um, some wins for women after the uh, COP27 agreed to adopt uh, the conversations around gender issues uh, in the conversations that are going to take place here. So those are the issues that have been taking place and of course tomorrow is going to be another day where our leaders will make various commitments to us addressing the issue of global warming, making the world more sustainable and of course ensuring communities are not affected by the uh, issues of uh, climate change. Those are some of the issues that are taking place here. Remember, we are live here, we'll be giving you more updates as they happen. Uh, my name is O'Brien Kimani, I'm live from Sham El Sheikh.